Today is Friday. It's 9 a.m. exactly. I slept at 8 o'clock last night and I woke up at 3. So I'll probably get sleepy later, but this week we're going to be working on my wall. Ah, this is my biggest project yet. I've done a few walls before, but it's always just been one wall. Since I have my own room, I'm going to be doing this one. This whole wall from the bottom up. This one as well, right above there and right here. This back one and then this entire wall here until the end of my bed. I don't know if I'll do this part because I still need to get a desk. Oh, why is it out of focus? I still need to get a desk here, so it depends on what desk I get because if you can still see the wall then I'll go top to bottom But like obviously if furniture is covering it, I'm not gonna waste a clipping on that area This process usually takes me like my last wall this one that took me like three straight days um, I would just wake up do my wall go to sleep But this one I'm working on more slowly just because it's a little more overwhelming So I'm just gonna be working on it day by day. This one is slowly coming to I started it I think like four days ago and I just put a few up every day today is wall day So I'm dedicating this entire day to this a lot of people have asked me like how I do it And so I'll walk you through the whole process and I'm also gonna be chittering and chattering if I ever have a random thought That I want to talk about for now um, if you're wondering where I'm heading out in this little fit here. I'm gonna run to the market. I really wanna get hot chips. I'm craving hot chips and um, ice cream and candy. <laughs> Today's just not gonna be a healthy day. I'll see you soon. Hello. I am back from my little convenience store trip. So here's a little haul. First, I got the Milano mint chocolate chip cookies. I love these. I had two on the way here, like on the walk back. And then I got some raspberries, hot Funyuns. And I got mint chocolate chip ice cream and strawberry ice cream. I've never had this brand before, Strauss. Sounds German. I think it's like a local brand, so we'll see. And then I bought a bowl of ramen, hot fries, some sour octopus, and then more double-sided tape for my wall. Time to indulge. I forgot to film it, but I just ate ramen. Side note. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I can't even say this with a straight face, but I mean it. I know a lot of people probably say this, but I know I would be such a good mukbanger. I feel like there's a term for it, but I feel like I'm like a good eater. Like not in the sense that like I'm like I'm good at eating, but like I'm able to eat like deliciously, if that makes sense. <laughs> not to toot my own horn. But anyways, let me walk through the wall process before we like start getting into it. So I don't know if you can notice, but I've already put up some big things and that's how I always start out with walls is I put up big images first like for this I started out with her and with her and then I work my way around it what you want to do first before you start your wall is figure out what your palette is gonna be or your color palette for me I'm going to be doing blue green beige orange ish here and there and purple and then black and white obviously that's like my favorite color combo I'm gonna use it every time I cannot get used to seeing me back here a lot of people also ask me where I get all these clippings from and it's just years of Collecting. It's actually a really fun hobby if anyone is into like photo collecting You actually can find like a lot of really cheap photography books or like photography magazines at thrift stores I've also gotten things from half price books little like vintage shops old used bookstores anything like that And a lot of things are also from k-pop albums because if you are a k-pop fan You'll know that the shoots that they do in those albums are crazy so good doing my wall is one of the most relaxing But tiring things ever I get really exhausted after putting like three photos up because I'm very picky Another Another thing to keep in mind when you're doing this is you want to alternate the colors you're using so that it looks cohesive at the end. So for example, I started out with her, right? She was really big, so I put her up first. And then I put up this green next, and then the orange, and then a hint of blue, and then the purple. And then I restarted, if that makes sense. You just want to make sure that each color in your palette that you're using can be found next to each other at any point. Ugh, this is bothering me, but you can't really see it when the light is off. So I'm just gonna pretend it's not there. And also, I just uploaded last week's video. It's the first time I've uploaded something in a year. I think a little more than a year. So very exciting. When I'm doing my wall, I like to put something on in the background. I honestly prefer music because I don't really look at my screen while I'm decorating, but I found this K-drama that's like very cute and light. So I'm just going to play that in the background while I do this. I'm going to walk there and it's about a mile. I'm just going to be eating sandwich and I'm sure you're going to need to just stay awake all day. Sleep early. 
Okay, so I'm gonna walk you through like a section that I'm gonna start right now. I just put this up. This is Heron from New Jeans, Main Slayer. I lined it up with this because this is aligned with the wall. Yeah, I need things to be straight. That's why I'm not able to do this section yet because I just put that up so that I know that I have green in that area. But I don't know if it's straight and I like, I just have a feeling that it's not. I have a feeling it's like slightly crooked. I just can't fix it because there's no like reference point. To make things easier for yourself, your first photo should be straight and aligned with something. That's why I usually start with corners but it's just too overwhelming with how big this wall is. I feel like I'm talking a lot, but I want to explain this as best as I can. I set her up. She's big. She's neutral. This is the next photo I just put up. It's green. I never want it to be like perfectly aligned, like a straight line, because I want it, everything to be kind of like cluttered, you know? I just put this up randomly. I just chose the spacing of this randomly as well. You just got to put faith that you'll find something that'll fit, especially when you have so much space. So next, I'm going to look for either blue, yellow, or purple to put up. I forgot to mention for mounting, I I use this scotch removable mounting putty. This is actually really great. It's better than double-sided tape because it like doesn't fall off. But I only use these for like the bigger photos because it's so reliable. On the other hand, I use this for most of the other photos. I'll even add it on to the bigger ones that I use with the putty just for extra support. It also makes the photo like lie flat against the wall. Whereas if I use putty, it's kind of like kind of inflated, if that makes sense. So I love this stuff. I have like five of these on hand right now. I just added her. For aligning, I just use the other photo to make sure that everything is lined up straight. Doesn't have to be perfect, but just try to make it as close as you can for that like clean look. And yeah, this will slowly expand as I go. So it's slowly growing. This used to be the Espa one. I actually put it right over here. She's over there now. I didn't like the look of it. I thought because this has so many words on it already, like another thing with words that close just looks a little off. So feel free to like replace. Nothing is like concrete. I wanted to put something yellow here and I thought this was perfect for it, but it's too long so i'm going to trim it I kind of measure by eyeballing i got this paper cutter from michael's i think like eight years ago and i still haven't replaced the blade so this is really great it's by recollections <laughs> this is what i look like in the morning it's 6 40 i went to bed at like I think like four or five in the afternoon. You know, my sleep schedule is so weird. The night before I slept at eight, woke up at three and then just stayed up. This is crazy, y'all. Life of the unemployed. <laughs> so I slept at like four to five and then I woke up at like eight or nine. My friend called because I was supposed to go to V's house, but that obviously didn't happen. My mom called, so I talked to her for a bit. Yeah, and then like brushed my teeth and everything. And then I went back to bed at like 11. I have no plan today. I need to figure out everything. I just did my wall for the entire day yesterday and I I actually made really good progress. The thing about my wall is like, I just want to finish it so that I don't have to think about it anymore. Also because whenever I do my wall, my room is a mess, but I don't like staying in all day either. So I just have to think about what I want to do. I just ate breakfast slash lunch. It's almost 10 right now. Oh my God, what is this? This happens to me a lot. Like I just get like random red spots and then they disappear. So hopefully that leaves. I look like shit right now, but I don't really care. So. I'm hitting the point of the wall process where it's a like creative rut. I just like, there's just so many options and it's all on the floor and I don't have a table and then I don't like bending down. And then I start getting frustrated cause I'm like, it looks ugly. It's like not even that serious cause I'm the only one who's really gonna be looking at this, but I just want it to look good. It's just really overwhelming sometimes cause I'm like, damn, there's still so much space that I have to fill. But how I'm trying to combat that is just doing like different walls at different times. And it really helps that the weather is super gloomy these past few days because I don't feel as bad for not really leaving the house. Tonight we're throwing a little surprise party with one of my friends. This morning I applied to another like seven jobs. I can't get over this right now. I'm just gonna put my hand right here and pretend it's not there. And I swear y'all I'm not usually like such a bum. I usually have like things to do. I don't even know. I feel like a bum when, like right now when I don't have a job I feel like a bum. Please someone hire me. Please. I swear I'm like a hard worker. This morning I woke up and I decided I wasn't gonna go to the gym but I think I'm gonna go in a few hours. Probably around like one or two just to do something small and get me out of the house and be a little active never mind y'all i actually feel mad restless right now and i'm not getting anywhere with the wall and i'm also really craving a walk so i'm gonna get ready i'm gonna go to the gym wall we'll see you later see the red is gone now ish off to the gym see y'all later oh top five
I'm back from the gym and y'all, I need to start doing that more. I always forget like how good working out makes you feel. I feel great now. Now I'm gonna buckle down. I'm gonna finish the wall today. I have to be at the birthday party by eight and it's almost two right now, so I have six hours. Okay, I don't know if it'll be done, but it'll be like 70% done. Tomorrow we're going to Pride and I'm super hyped about that. I don't know what I wanna wear yet. I don't know what look I wanna do yet. I missed the parade last year because I came really late, so I don't want that to happen again, but we'll see what I end up doing. I don't know if anyone else read this like children's book. I don't remember the name, but it was basically like you shouldn't stand on rolly chairs to like get to places, but I don't have any other chair. Oh, I kind of, I think I might, but I'm too lazy, so. All right, some cobwebs up here. Nice, 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 nice. Whoa. Okay, come on. Stop with the dramatics, Cord. I just took an ice cream break. I love this brand. This is my new favorite brand. It's so good. Strauss. The Germans know what they're doing. Mm -hmm. <coughs> yeah, I succumbed to the laying in bed illness, so I just laid in bed for the past four hours. But this is the wall so far. I actually think it looks pretty good. I worked on this side for just a bit, but it's so pretty empty. The reason I'm wearing a coat is because my friend's party is going to be outside. I don't think I'm going to stay very long because I've been waking up kind of early, so I get really sleepy by like 8 o'clock, and it's 8 o'clock right now. <laughs> I want to at least show face and wish her a happy birthday. I'm probably going to go get her an ice right now. I might bring Cami to the party. It just depends. I just don't like carrying Cami around because I've lost or nearly lost Cami several times, but we'll see. Good morning. Happy Sunday. It is basically almost eight o'clock. We plan to pregame Pride at nine, so I have an hour to get ready. I'm putting a roller in my hair. I'm gonna do my makeup. We're on our way to Pride! Woo! This is Magna, Michaela, <laughs> me, Daniel. Hi. We're on our way. We're trying to make the bar at 11.15. It's 11.05. So exactly. The rest of the group is struggling. <laughs> See you there! Admit it to the really camera. Embarrassing. I'm admit going home. Lift a sex real. in. That she didn't even make it to the field. Sound. How much was your Uber? Fifty dollars. Oh. <laughs> so I went. We're at Pride. Let's say hi. Hello. Right now our plan. We just got into like the main event, so we're just gonna look at everything and then we're gonna sit down now. How do you feel, Dan? I feel amazing. Really excited. I feel like every time I go to Pride, it's such an accepting and community. And you've been here since 2018. 8 o'clock. I have an interview at 11.30 so I'm gonna head to the gym now. I always get really like nervous going to the gym before like something's scheduled because I'm always scared I won't make it back in time. I'm gonna rush over there. Next time you see me, I'm gonna be dressed profesh. It's an online interview but still, for the ambiance. I have an interview at 11.30 and then I'll join you. We'll see if I get it. Hey y'all, I just got back from the gym. I'm eating a little breakfast. I had this for the first time yesterday, bagel and butter, and it changed my life. I have an interview at 11.30, and then I'm gonna go to the cafe and edit this video, this very video. 
I also secured a desk on Facebook Market. I'm gonna shower now and I'll see you in a bit. Hey y'all, I just had my interview. It's for a medical scribe position and they offered me the position. Only thing is, it's an hour and a half away by BART there and then an hour and a half back. So I have to consider that, but I think end of the day, I'm just gonna accept it because I hate being unemployed and I need something ASAP. And I also think it'd be a great experience. I'm gonna head to the cafe now. I'm just wearing this turtleneck and these sweats. It's actually really close to where I live and I've never been there before, so I'm really excited. See y'all there. We don't have any chopsticks or forks, so I have to eat it with my hands. I just cut myself on accident and we don't have any band-aids so Manya's running to the convenience store to grab me one Bless her soul It's like gushing blood I didn't realize that fingers had that much blood in it So we're waiting on that now I got a desk I'll show you in a bit I was planning on showing you after I eat This is how I cut myself because I was opening this bag with a knife because we don't have scissors This chicken beer biryani Please correct me if I'm wrong We discovered that we actually do have pots and pans and we had that this whole time Would have loved to know that Another update I called the airport about my SD card because I don't want to drive all the way to SF if it's not there but he said he can't tell me so I'm gonna have to go in person the thing is the bottom of my car was like scraping on the road today so I have to buy more duct tape and then duct tape it tighter that'll be a fun little experience I actually did this last year, but I forgot. I split it by like size, so the smaller ones I put on the table here. Oh, I also got a desk. I'll show you in a second. And then all the bigger ones I put on the floor, just so that the smaller ones aren't like hiding under, and then it's just like so hard to figure out, especially with the proportions of the wall and everything. But this is the desk. It's actually the one I was originally looking for. I was actually gonna get another one in SF that was $60. It was a little cuter, but this one was only $25, and it's in Berkeley, so I didn't have to drive very far. It's so cute. And my room is officially finished. I might get a rug. I'm gonna look on Facebook Market, but I'm not planning on spending any more than like $10 on it. So if I can't find it, then that's okay. So my plan is just to work on the wall for the rest of the night. Really go ham. I'm gonna play music, not watch any shows, not get distracted. And then tomorrow I'm gonna drive to SFO to see if my SD card is there. a.m. This is how far I got with the wall yesterday. I know it doesn't look like I did much, but I think I filled up a good amount like over here and I managed to finally connect it from edge to edge, which is always a good sign. That's always my goal when I first start my wall is just connect the edges because then that means the rest is just fill in. At least mentally, that's how I think of it. The bus gets here at around 9.30. I'm gonna head to SFO. I think it's a perfect opportunity to read my book. This is the book I'm reading, The Unconsoled by Kazuo Ishiguro. Clearly it's not very broken in yet, so we need to get to reading. I'm just hoping and praying and hoping and praying and clinging onto every hope I have that is there. If I have that SD card, meaning in my life will be filled again. I'll see color. The world will no longer be black and white. Please, 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 please. All right, y'all. SFO. I'm so confused. My phone said that it would like stop at SFO before coming to Milbury, but then it just came to Milbury. I walked in a full circle thinking I had to go on the cow train, but now I'm back at where I started and the doors are closed and it's so cold. Yeah, but I think this is gonna take me where I need to go, I think. And I'm also really hungry. The door just opened. I also have a meeting at four, but it's only 11, so I should be able to make it. 
So now I'm in San Bruno. What is going on? I just want to get to the airport. Why is it so hard? I'm so confused because it says SF airport and then it says SFO. What do you want from me? The next train that comes is going to SF airport. So I'm just going to board that. This is stressing me out and I'm also getting really hungry. If this drops me back off at Milgray, I think I'm dead ass just going to Uber to the airport. I can't handle this anymore. It's 11 11. Let's make a wish. It'll be there. It'll be there. It's there. It's there. It's there. Please. Y'all, I'm hanging on to my last leg. Basically, every week, all the lost items get shipped to Houston, which I knew. But because, like, my car accident the day of that I flew in, I wasn't able to come in till today. After waiting for, like, an hour and a half trying to figure out who to freaking ask, I finally found, like, the baggage claim desk. And they told me that it's in Houston, if it is, like, found. Because apparently, like, the SFO office is really busy, so they don't have time to match the lost item claim. So it goes to Houston, and then they match it. I'm just really scared because the lost item thing expired after 30 days and it's been two weeks i'm so hungry right now and tired and dejected i bought a three dollar chocolate bar to coat but now i think i'm gonna watch mukbang videos to feel better like all in all i'm not gonna die but it was like a 128 gigabyte card so it has like years of memories and it has a lot of videos of my grandma i started crying in front of the agent i'm probably gonna start crying on the bar but that's the story i'll see you guys back home You are vlogging your Trader Joe's food items. This is not even Trader Joe's, this is Berkeley Bowl. Oh! Mac and cheese cauliflower. Yeah, have a bite. Really? Yeah. Good. Trying as a chef. Can I have an avocado? Of course. Is it recording? Oh, okay, yes. Hello, everyone. This is V. Maya and Trang. I am studying at. Oh, you're studying, migrating studying. Here? I'm studying so you're at. Over there? Yeah. Maya was sitting on the couch, but now she's migrated over to our little, oh, very yeah, little table. Apartment. No, it's very cute actually. Good vibes. This table is so cute. The green trim. No, and I the know. white. Ooh. And it was wobbly, but I fixed it with my engineering. Oh my Show goodness. everyone my She put paper underneath. Show. Very good vibes. Manya is studying for her Casper, which is one of the my tests. My ring white. Okay. <laughs> okay. I finished biology. Yay! Do come true. Trang and Monty have been making fun of me relentlessly for my lack of study, but I would like to make a note. I got I here, have. I think, 30 minutes ago, and she hasn't. Oh, she got page. here two hours ago. It was an oh. hour, actually, 1.30. I got here. It is now 2.45. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So. Oh, we're going to get Taco Tuesday tonight. Mm -hmm. and we're going to get heinous. Are we allowed to see? Yeah. We're, we're all 21. 21. Yeah. yeah. We do not support underage drinking. You tell them. You put your foot down on that yeah. one train. No, no, I left at 9 a.m. I was like, I'll be back by like 11, like 12. No. She came back at 2.30. It's actually horrible. You missed. You got that on camera. Can you yeah. study, please? Let me get my... <laughs> like, what are you doing? Oh, did you bring Cammy to Pride? I took some fantastic footage at Pride. I'm actually really excited at it, though. You brought Cammy? Yeah. And I took photos on it. Yeah. I was the only one who didn't vomit at Pride. Let that be known. Only one? Out of the three of us. Okay. Oh, yeah. But to be fair, we're not in much competition. That parade actually killed something in me. Happy Pride, though. Can you take that I was about to say you didn't even know. What did you say though? I just said pride took something out of me, but then I don't want it to be twisted into like homophobia. That parade actually killed something in me. Me is homophobia. Mm -hmm. I just meant that I actually like drank too much. Of of pride. But I'm glad everyone else had a good ter time. Term. Okay, let you let me slide. Move on. Just playing with my food. No, we know. He leaves me alone. He is fat phobic. No, just train phobic. <laughs> Are you done? <laughs> Wish Manya good luck. She's about to take her Casper in a couple hours. Hey y'all, I just finished my work meeting. I love saying that, I'm employed. By the way, my interview started at four and it's 4.40. Oh, you turned that page. <laughs> she's been on the stage since I walked through this door. <laughs> if you're going to Berkeley, you should join BMO. After she's done taking the exam, we're gonna get ready and then we're gonna head to Taco Tuesday. Deal! See ya. Do -do 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 -do.
Hey y'all, I'm still a little red, but I'm back home from Taco Tuesday. It's 10.30. One thing about me is I'm gonna go home early. That's just how it is. This week's vlog is coming to an end. I try to stop filming for that week by Wednesday. So tomorrow's Wednesday, I go to work. Nothing big happening on Wednesday. So I'll see you guys next week. Thank you for watching as always. I feel like this week was very hectic. A lot of things going on. Things will stabilize more once work starts. I think my training period starts sometimes next week, but it's just crazy how much can change in one or two weeks. I'm really grateful for everything. Thank you everyone for watching. Thank you for showing me so much love on my last video and I'm really excited <laughs> for my YouTube journey. I promise to stay more consistent this time and I really just want to, I want to give it my all. Like, I don't want to half-ass it. I hope everyone's doing well and staying healthy and I'll see you guys next week. Bye!